channel. It is your girl Brittany Brianna, and today, you guys, I am actually coming to you all with another cooking video. We haven't seen one of these in a minute. Um, so what we're making today is we want a little recreation of a little real crisp. So yeah, your girl is pregnant. If y'all did not know, we are actually halfway there, y'all. We're 20 weeks pregnant with our two tw with our I'm sorry with our twin boys. Um, so yeah, we are almost 21 weeks pregnant. Yeah. So um, today I had a little craving, y'all, for some real crisp. But you know what? We can't just be going to real crisp in the middle of the week like this. It's a Wednesday, and yeah. <laughs> but I wanted real crisp. Well, I wanted stuffed chicken. And I was like, you know what? Shit, I actually took out some chicken breast um, today to cook. So, I actually have this big pack of chicken breast here. They are um, like the bone-in chicken breast. And I was thinking, like, when I took these out this morning, I was just kind of really like, I took them out. I looked in the freezer for something to take out. Because usually that's what I do. I take something out and I just figure out what I'm going to make with it. Um, or I have something in the mouth already. With these chicken breasts, I was like, what the heck am I gonna make with these chicken breasts? Usually my husband wants me to fry these up and he has some big boy fried chicken um, breasts. But I, I I wasn't feeling the fried chicken breast today, so I didn't even tell him I took that out really. So I decided to do some stuffed chicken myself. So I kind of looked up some stuff, kind of seen what, what all went into stuffed chicken. Like what, I'm just like, I know how to cook. I know how to cook some chicken. So I'm just like, what do they actually use to stuff the chicken at Ruth Chris? And I figured it out, y'all. So I got my ingredients here. Like I said, I got my chicken breasts here. They are nice and thawed out. Um, I'm about to go ahead and get those cleaned up. These are the bone-in um, chicken breasts with skin. So that is the kind that I recall Ruth Chris using. Um, and I got my other ingredients here. We got some Philadelphia cream cheese, a block of cream cheese here. Um, they also use sharp cheddar cheese. I got some sharp cheddar cheese here. And what else is in the filling? They use thyme. I don't have any fresh thyme. So I have a little Italian seasoning. So I'm gonna use a little bit of Italian seasoning. Oh, and then the other thing I just went to the store and got is this you guys this is the other secret ingredient so yep i'm about to go ahead and get everything going my hands are already clean i'm about to um get my hand get my um chicken clean and get everything prepped so y'all stick with me also you guys with this meal um usually when you go to roof creek if you've never been before they don't really have sides that come with the meal so you kind of get your size um la carte and we usually get the lobster mac and cheese and the sweet um the sweet potato souffle. So I'm not making lobster mac and cheese. I'm just gonna do some regular mac and cheese today. But I am gonna do the sweet potato souffle. So I'm excited to do that. That's what Heavy wanted. He was like, "Ooh, can we get macaroni and cheese and souffle too?" I'm like, "Oh my gosh, yes!" And I also got some asparagus so that we can have a vegetable. So y'all just stay tuned and let's get into it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys so first things first um sweet potatoes take a minute to boil so i'm gonna go ahead and get these boiling i just got a three pack of sweet potatoes and i got my water here boiling so i'm about to go ahead and drop these in there i'm gonna go ahead and put them in there whole you know what i think i'm gonna peel them first so that when they're done i can just start mashing them so i'm gonna go ahead and peel these and then drop these in the water all right, you guys, so now we're going to start on our filling for our chicken breast. So I told y'all I'm using some Philadelphia, Philadelphia cream cheese. I have been letting it sit out for a minute, so it's a little softened. Go ahead and open this up. Mommy. Yes, baby? Me? Huh? Me? You what? Me. You got to be careful over there. That it's a little softened, so that is great. Go ahead and get that in the bowl. 
All right, I told you I went ahead and purchased the ranch powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here as well. We are going to add some sharp cheddar cheese. We are going to add some of our Italian seasoning. And we are going to add some pepper. Yes, baby. Mm-hmm. I'm about to go ahead and give that all a mix. But this is what we got going on. So we got our chicken breast. I lined uh, my baking sheet with some aluminum foil. And I put some olive oil on there. So that's what we got going on right now. I got my knife here. I'm just about to cut some pockets into my chicken so that I can stuff it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this going. I'm trying to see if I want to use the sides that's like with the bone like this. Or should I use the thicker side? I think I want to use the thicker side. So you see like this is like all meat on this side versus this side, which is thinner and bone. Yeah, so I'm gonna like start right here and I'm just gonna like cut a pocket, but I don't wanna like cut a hole, so I'm trying to make sure. So yeah, let's just slice that pocket. Make it a little deep so that I can actually stuff it good. I don't want to have it like so it can come out. So, y'all see my pocket here? It's nice and deep. <laughs> Let me not get nasty with this, but y'all get the point. So, let's cut them into all of my chicken breasts. tricky because we got like the bomb right here but this is the flat side so I guess I'm gonna go well it kind of got like see it kind of got that pre-made pocket right there maybe I can utilize that and just kind of go up with it so use that to kind of go up over the bone Keep your hatch of food, y'all. So yeah, there we go with that pocket. All right. So we got all our pockets here. I think I'm gonna make them on the same side. Put them on. The, okay, make sure my chickens are all turned the same way, so I can know. All right, we got our we got our mixture here. I think I wanna um, use my hand to make sure they mix. It's mixed all the way. So yeah, I'm gonna get a little nasty with it, but it's okay. My food, I wash them. I'm just kind of putting my hands, just making it, forming it all here in my hands. Making, I want all that ranch powder. I want to make sure that ranch powder is in that cream cheese. Really, really good. Mm. 
bit off of it go on my first pocket here and stuff that bad boy now, if you ever did like a turkey for Thanksgiving or anything you know what I mean or if you ever um, like stuff the hen it's basically like that stuffing it all good it's gonna definitely ooze out y'all so I just want to make sure I got enough in there because that is the best part about that roof crisp stuffed chicken and your hands gonna get messy with this one so it is okay just gonna stuff the rest of them Yeah, I'm so excited about these because I really wanted some, like I said, these pregnancy cravings, y'all. I was like, damn, I want some stuffed chicken from Real Chris. But your girl, you know, we on a budget. We finna have these twins. We can't be just balling out at Real Chris in the middle of the week. Maybe we'll say that for the weekend. <laughs> but hell, if this is busting like the root chicken at Real Chris, we might not be going back to Real Chris for no stuffed chicken. Save my coins. This pack of this big old pack of chicken breast was only like five dollars, and um, all the other ingredients was cheap as well. And I had more some of the stuff, so it is definitely gonna save us some coins. Oh, this one got a deep cut, deep pocket. I can stuff all the way back here in the back for this one. And I use all my cream cheese, y'all. And all my mixture. That was perfect for three chicken breasts. So if you're making more or less, you wanna just might, maybe alter it for that. Um, like I said, I'm using three of these big old chicken breasts and this is perfect for my All right, let me rinse my hands off. But you guys, so like when you get served at Ruth's Chris, the chicken is, I mean the cheese is definitely all, is oozing out anyway. But we're gonna secure it a little bit so I just got some toothpicks here and I'm just going to go in on the side where my pockets are and kind of just put those in place just like that just kind of close it down put it all the way through it It's still gonna ooze out y'all, but this will keep it from like, this will keep it in there a little bit. here I'm gonna go ahead and season up our chicken breast also and I'm just using basic seasoning y'all I got a little um saison here garlic powder pepper and yeah that's probably all I'm gonna use This is some big chicken, y'all. So you want to make sure it's flavored. Season good. All 
All right, you guys, this is what our chicken breast looks like pre-oven. My oven has been preheating for, um, for a minute now on 450. So I will be cooking it in the oven at 450. But before I put this in, I wanna go ahead and just check on my other side um, and get those going before I put this in. Because this will probably only be in the oven for about 35, 40 minutes. So let me go ahead and make my, get my noodles boiling for my macaroni and cheese so that all everything can be going in the oven around the same time. All right, y'all, so next we are going to make the sweet potato souffle. Um, I got my sweet potatoes here. They have boiled. I had just peeled them and then um, I peeled them and cut them so that they can boil and get softer quicker. So I got them here. I'm about to go ahead and just like mash them them like they're nice and soft so it's easily easy for me to mash and we'll start adding my ingredients i have this other bowl here for our toppings um this is going to be for the coating of the um for the souffle so for this part we're going to add some sugar my one cup measuring cup here I'm not, I'm not gonna use the whole cup y'all I'm just kind of using this because it's the one I got right here put some sugar in here I got my egg here I'm gonna go ahead and crack some eggs in it One egg might be enough because I'm not making like a big portion for like, you know, Thanksgiving. So let's see. Let me mix that up and see what we got. Yeah, I think one egg is going to be enough for that. Yeah. We're going to use some vanilla extract. I'm an eyeballer, y'all. A little salt. Well, get out of that toilet. Mm 
了吗？没不能啊，我Now we got a little clean up going back here in the background. So we see a lot going on. A lot going on, y'all. Hey, 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 watch out. Baby dropped the syrup out of the cabinet. What's the syrup? Go that way. Go below that way. Uh-uh. Come on. Alright, so we got our sweet potatoes made and our topping. Alright, guys. Be careful. Yum. Good job, bro. So glad you were inspired. <laughs> so happy. You got your glove. Uh oh. Too much butter, y'all, but it's okay. But a butter too soft, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll take my thing and try to like spread it. cheese i have my noodles here in my pan already they are nice and boiled to perfection i'm gonna go ahead and start mixing everything um as far as my cheese sauce here i use some um, one of these Velveeta block cheeses here um you just use that put a little milk in it warm it up in the microwave i have my other cheeses here i have some sharpness and mild cheddar um and i also milked it a little more than half a stick of butter. So, I'm gonna go ahead and add some milk to this. you guys so everything is basically cooked or cooking um so lastly we have to prepare our veggie and i told you you guys were doing asparagus so i had got a pack of asparagus from my grocery store and they are the thick kind i love the thick kind because they cook better to me the other ones get kind of like thin they just get thin and crispy too fast but yeah i got them all here i already chopped my stems off the bottom of them um if you don't know i'm sorry i forgot to show that part i just went ahead and started chopping them I got my olive oil here. I'm about to just spray some 
olive oil over them all. Season with my, I'm using my um, sea salt, all over the salt. And some pepper. And asparagus is pretty simple. That's all you do. Throw it in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes. My oven is already hot, so I'm about to go ahead and add it in there with my mac and cheese. And there we are. Let's put those in. All right, you guys, everything is done. We have our asparagus here. We have our potato souffle here. We have our stuffed chicken looking delicious. And then we have our good cheese macaroni and cheese yeah mm -mm -mm. look at these bad boys play tip yes on a wednesday got the kitchen going up on a wednesday Look at the birthday girl. Oh, oh, so cute. What's her shirt say? <laughs> oh, yeah, one last thing, y'all. Thank y'all for the 10K. Y'all see the game? We hit 10K, and I appreciate each and every one of y'all who continues to watch. Y'all are the real ones for real, for real. So, thank y'all. Now, bye. <laughs>